Hey everyone, today I wanted to share with you um, a Sizzix project. Uh, it's using two different dies. One is the Sizzix square card with a window, and that's number 654443. And the other one is a uh, Sizzix envelope square die, which is number 65545. And I've used each one of these and what I've made with the envelope is I used uh, black cardstock and I adhered this with um, my favorite glue. You could use red line tape. Um, I wouldn't recommend using adhesive uh, runners if you intend for this to be opened and closed and used in a mini, for example, or like a gift card or um, on a gift, a little message um, to a company because it won't hold as securely. So use either permanent adhesive glue or um, red line tape, something like that. So what I did is, as you see, I have all these remnants from the project. I'll show you the finished one. Is um, And some of this, I saw a video from a uh, scrap sister, Sarah um, in Scotland, who is three dogs and two kids on YouTube, and she made some scrapalopes. And then I remember that I had made these tiny little ones um, that tie just like inner office envelopes. And this is the project that, I made, that I'm going to show you today. So I cut the, with a die, the envelopes. Then I made opposing um, holes with my uh, McGill punch using the smaller end and then I also punched out of regular the same cardstock that I used for the envelope a um, the same size hole first then I used the half inch punch to center it and my recommendation is to punch the smaller hole first then you can easier easily center the half inch one so then your punch so you're not doing the reverse. Uh, in other words, it's easier to punch the half inch, the larger, um, than the smaller one first. So you punch a small first, then the half inch punch second. So that produces a nice centered hole. And that's where you're going to put the eyelid through. So um, in, the, in these holes, I placed an eyelid, um, one of these little circles. They almost look like um, three ring paper reinforcements if you remember back to high school or middle school whichever you recall those from but I may have just dated myself so you place one of those and then uh, through the eyelet and then the eyelet through the envelope and you set it and then um, you can tie the whichever coordinating um, thread through it and I'm using just embroidery floss and it's a contradictory I mean it's a complementary color I used black envelope for this project in red um, eyelets um, and the uh, red embroidery floss. So I made a whole bunch of them. There's a couple of different variations. You can make them out of any color coordinating paper or um, paper that, um, you know, pattern. I embossed this one with white embossing powder. And then what goes inside is these little, oh, let me just grab one out, these little cards which are cut with the other Sizzix die. And for these, I actually used some paint chip samples that I had lying around. And I'm going to cover the inside with just plain white paper. I just thought it was kind of cool. I recycled them, so I made a little stash of them. So these are little cards. And I'm going to use them for, um, you know, for presents or just to drop a little note. Obviously, you cannot mail this size envelope through the post service, but you can include them as pockets uh, in mini albums, on page layouts to put a little trinket in, or some a little piece of memorabilia. What I wanted to mention is if you space the holes on the tab and on the envelope close enough, you don't actually even need the tie. You could just use the little reinforcers that you cut out as a tab, so it holds pretty nicely, as you can see. So you can either do it this way, or space it far enough where it's it doesn't tag, it doesn't pop in, 
and then use the the one with the floss. Oh, where is it? Here it is. And actually, I had intended on doing this video quite some time ago, but unfortunately, I have a tendency to kind of throw my um, project remnants into like little um, throwaway containers like this, little um, disposable containers like this, because it keeps everything in there. Like I had all my punches and everything together, so I knew that if one, you know, I could take it to another room to put together, or um, if I, you know, wanted to keep the pieces from getting lost and the actual container all got misplaced because I organized my room or I'm organizing my room and this one little container got misplaced so I was very happy that I found it today and I wanted to share with you this little mini 2 by 2 envelope uh, which Sarah calls scrap -a -lope, which is kinda cute because it's like that reinforcement inner office envelopes although I have to say I don't think I've recalled the last time I saw an inner office envelope I work remotely and every, we do everything electronically, so there you go. So if anyone has any questions regarding any of the items, that, any of the tools I used, or if you have any questions um, otherwise, please leave me a comment. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching, everyone.